How's it going? So we're going to call today Vintage Lens Friday. Uh, I just kind of started dabbling with vintage lenses. I got a, a Nikon 50, a Nikkor, I'm sorry, Nikkor 50 millimeter 1.8. Uh, it was a, a legacy lens I had uh, when I was in high school. And it got me inspired to shoot uh, with it. Uh, I've been, I'm shooting on it right now. But that's not the lens we're going to talk about. Right now we're going to talk about this Canon FD 20 millimeter f2.8 um, vintage lens. Now, I got pretty excited about the vintage lens idea because it's just a different look. It's a little more creative. Um, I, I had some, I don't know if you want to call it a bad experience. I wouldn't call it a learning experience. Um, you know, we'll learn how to buy these. So I figured, you know what, before I start buying a whole bunch of these lenses, I'm just going to take this 20 millimeter and shoot with it and get a feel for it. Now, the first time I shot with it, I wasn't sure if I was going to want to shoot anymore with it. It was, uh, it was really, uh, how would I say it, real soft, uh, almost, almost like you didn't have to put a Pro Mist on it. It was already almost like an overdone Pro Mist on it. Well, I think part of that was I was shooting in, uh, in the um, picture profile uh, wide DR. And then, so I thought, well, you know, let me shoot this in a lot of different scenarios and see what I really think about it. So I'm going to tell you what I, I think about this, what, what this lens I, I think is good for and what maybe it's not so great for. Turns out, I really like it and I can't wait to shoot more on it. I've, I've really only got a couple months with it and uh, a handful of shoots. Uh, so what I think it's really good for are, if you're in the landscapes and you want something that's going to give a little more magic or it's almost like a painting or, or, or like really like film. It's really actually beautiful. And I'm going to show you some of the footage here. So you're not just looking at me in this, this lens. So I think, uh, with the high dynamic, uh, with the, at least with the, the camera I have, which is the Canon C100, it has custom picture profiles and the custom picture profile, uh, YDR landscape, golden hour. This thing is so beautiful. I was really impressed with it. And I look forward to shooting more landscape with this. Uh, this is kind of all I really want to shoot with right now. Uh, so we'll see when I get tired of it. I also, now the other thing that I like about it that you may or may not like about it is this thing has crazy lens flares. So if you want a very dreamy look, a very, you know, surreal look, this will give that to you. Um, there's also some other weird light reflections off of it. If the light hits it and it's turning and it kind of distorts the, the image. And I like that for what I was trying to get across in my film. If you don't like that, don't use this lens for that particular part of the shoot. Uh, so it can really give you kind of a dreamy look. I like that, you know, for a, for a wide angle. I mean, I'm sorry, for a kind of a creative type of project. What I wouldn't use this for, uh, I wouldn't use this for vlogging. So this is an f2.8. However, I, I tried to shoot this just to see if I could vlog with it or, or shoot like this with it uh, at uh, f2.8 just to get a little bit of background blur. And it really is not very clear. Uh, it's, it's blurry. It, actually, the image came out bad and you're going to get, a, I'm going to show you how that came out. Now, part of it as I was, I was shooting at too fast to shutter speed, I wasn't paying attention and I just started. So that whole that whole shoot looked just weird, okay? But I, I wouldn't use this for vlogging. This, this I think, is going to be for more of, you know, if you want to do a cool documentary or you want to tell a, a cool story uh, or have just some beautiful, different-looking landscape that isn't so surgical and pre precise uh, and sterile, and, and, and I don't know if there's a better term for that, then I think you're going to have a, you're going to like this lens. Um, but don't, I wouldn't vlog with it. it. I don't think it really does anything there. So my, like I said, my favorite profile for landscape with this is cu uh, custom, uh, I'm sorry, YDR. Now the custom picture profile for, um, I think it's like the, what is it? The Canon log or whatever that is with the cinema picture profile. And that's something that you've got to do a little bit of grading and color correcting on. That actually comes out really, really, actually really good. It uh, doesn't have quite the dreamy look or quite the painting type of look, the moving painting type of look, um, but it's, it's, it's really good. It's really, it's, I don't want to call it sharp, but it captures a lot of colors. 
and I think it's really beautiful, and, and you'll see some footage with that as well. Uh, you definitely need to color grade that. I thought, I thought it came out beautiful. Uh, I did do just a, I haven't really done much with the EOS standard, which would be like what most DSLRs would look like, just because I'm having so much fun with the wide DR and the, uh, the cinema profile. So I may, on another, you know, another video, sh show you a little more of the EOS standard. It looked, I, I had like a couple quick shots with it, and it looked nice. It didn't look bad at all. Um, so would I buy this lens? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this lens. I really like this lens. So if you're looking for a vintage lens, and I really wasn't sure if I wanted to go Nikkor or I wanted to go Canon uh, FD, this FD's won me over. If you're thinking about vintage, uh, at least on my camera, it's super 30, uh, super 35. So what is that? It comes out to like this is like a 35 millimeter. Yeah, I think I think this is a great lens. I'm I'm really looking forward to shooting more. So I give this a thumbs up if you're into vintage lenses or you're thinking about it. I think you can do a lot with this, and I think you'd be really happy. Just uh, the one lesson I learned in buying these: if you can, you really really got to take a look at the pictures uh, and you know maybe have somebody send you some video some footage over. Uh, to make sure that, that you just don't have much fungus in it. So this one looks really nice. I'm really happy with it, and you know, happy shooting. Enjoy.